misspell it for me, Don. Yes, Rosenberg. Don Rosenberg, D-O-N-R-O-S-E-N-B-E-R-G. And this issue is personal for you because you um, you had a son that lost his life. Yeah, my son was uh, killed by an unlicensed driver in San Francisco in November of 2010. And so tell me, you know, obviously having that personal connection to it, what bothers you about the idea of this possible change in policy here? This change in policy is going to kill more people. It's going to have create more accidents. Um, and, you know, bottom line is more people die. It's a, it's a, it's a ridiculous solution to a difficult problem. Hi. <laughs> July 10th, 1991. My brother was hit by a illegal immigrant while riding to work at approximately 6 o'clock in the morning. He lost a leg as a result. His hips were shattered. He landed on a parked car about 35 feet away. And as a result of that, his spine was compressed, so now he has arthritis in it. Every couple days, he changes his morphine patch because he's a chronic pain patient. He's on Lyrica and a few other medications. I, I, I have to disagree with your policy change. Last week in the LA Times, the Times reported that $23 billion are returned to Mexico on an annual basis by legal and illegal immigrants. These are people, some of them, that are not paying into our tax system that tax us in a lot of other ways besides just the safety. Since he was caught driving without a license on San Francisco, they do in San Francisco now what LA wants to do next. They do not typically impound cars unless no one can come pick it up. And when this guy was caught driving the wrong way, went down a one-way street, he couldn't find anybody to get his car, which he owned. Um, there was no place to park it, so it got impounded. By the next day, he had the car out. They didn't even, they ended up, they dropped the driving without a license charge. They dropped the driving without insurance charge. They allowed him to plea to driving the wrong way down a one-way street just pay the ticket and it's almost a year later the DA's office refuses to tell me if he's ever paid the ticket which obviously makes you think that he probably didn't pay the ticket so basically got off scot-free but it's also the message that's sent to everybody else that's that's either driving and some that aren't I mean there's a lot of people that say I'm not gonna drive but then when they come back and they say hey you know you can you can do anything there's no penalty or the penalty's very small well then why not? I'll drive too. So it's it's not just the person, it's the message to the entire community that it's okay to do this. You can break the law with immunity. We don't care. I'm a victim of an unlicensed driver and an uninsured driver, and now my insurance rates are, are probably going to go up because of it, and I have no recourse at all. Um, I implore you to tow a car of an unlicensed driver, regardless of what corner of the earth they come from. Thank you. With the help of politicians like Mayor Villaraigosa and Gil Zedillo, who, who helped pervert our laws, illegal aliens think that driver's license is a joke. By not impounding unlicensed driver's cars, you endanger the citizens of this state. I challenge each and every one of you to do what is right, protect the citizens, and uphold our laws. Thank you. And you believe that 30-day impound helps weed out, I guess, the people that are... Well, I, I don't know that it weeds out. I mean, statistically, when the 30-day impound started, the number of deaths and accidents leveled off. It hasn't decreased, but it leveled off. Um, you know, look, clearly you've got a lot of people off the road for a period of time. Some can't get back on because they can't get their cars out and they don't have any money. But let's face it, a lot of them will just, sometimes they leave their car and go buy another one, or they just get a friend's car and keep driving. So it's made it better, but it certainly hasn't made it good. And so to the mayor who says, you know, this might unfairly target illegal immigrants because they can't afford the money to get the cars out of the pond, what, what, would, what would you say to him? 
I'd say, come with me to the cemetery and tell my son that this is unfair.